Hello everyone, this is Edunik. Today I am here with yet another tutorial on dot convention and this video I will be dealing with only so problem solving in coupled circuits. So there are three basic formulas that you have to know before going into solving. So here XM or the reactance developed due to mutual inductance is XM equal to M omega similarly the inductive reactance is L omega and the and these coefficients are interrelated by the relation m equal to k root l1 l2 where k is a constant m is our coefficient of mutual inductance and l1 and l2 are our inductor values so there are three basic types of problem that we will encounter so the first in the first there will be we will be supplied with values of the reactances that is xm and xl1 and xl2 and in the second type we will be provided with these coefficients and that is coefficient of mutual inductance and the inductor values and in the third type we will be given the inductor values and instead of m we will be given the value of the constant k so let's move on to the problem solving suppose we are provided with a problem circuit like this and we have to find out v2 if i1 is 0 that is here i1 and i2 are the two currents so in any dot convention problem we would first determine the value and direction of the induced voltages so due as this i1 is flowing through the first coil and they are mutually coupled a voltage will be induced in such a fashion and similarly as i2 is flowing due to this current there would be a voltage induced in the first loop so to mark the direction we follow dot convention here the current i1 is entering through the dotted side and correspondingly the dotted side gets a positive in the second side so as the dotted side is above we put a dotted side above and a negative below so in, in the second loop i2 is entering through the undotted side so the side with no dot which is below this gets the corresponding positive sign now the values of the voltages is i into xm or i into xl here this is due to mutual inductance so i into xm uh, xm is directly even 2j and the current that causes it is i2 in the first loop so here the value is 2j i2 and similarly in this this volt the value of this voltage is 2j into i1 as i1 caused this voltage now we have this circuit now here we can write the mesh equations which goes uh, the in the first loop we get 5 i1 plus 8j i1 minus 2j i2 this into source equal to 100 and in the second loop we can write 2 i2 i'm starting from this point uh, plus v2 minus 2j i1 plus 2j i2 equal to 0 here it is given i1 equal to 0 so this equation changes to minus 2j i2 equal to 100 and 100 angle 0 okay and in this term cancel out in the second equation so v2 equal to minus 2j i2 minus 2i2 here we can take common i2 and substitute the equation 1 here so v2 equal to minus 2 into 1 plus j into the value of i2 from here is 100 angle 0 by minus 2j the 2 cancel out and the minus also cancel out and the value we get directly as 100 plus 100 j which when converting into r angle theta form we get 
angle 42 degrees this is our v2 i mean i1 equals this is the second type of problem that we would come across so here we are given the values in henry's yes this, this is a 5 henry that is m and 10 henry l1 and 100 henry l2 from this we would have to obtain the reactances so normally there would be omega given in the question so from that we can apply the equation xm equal to m omega j which gives 250 j that is 5 henry into 50 that is 250 j and x l1 equal to l1 omega j that is 500 j and x l2 equal to l2 omega j which gives 5000 j reactants so i have redrawn the circuit like this and i wrote the values x in x l1 and x l2 instead of these so i have transformed it into the first type so now we have to find out the voltages induced voltages and their directions so in this the current enters through dotted side so corresponding to dotted side which is up uh, above we put a positive and here negative and similarly here the side with no dot gets the positive sign and here negative and the values as we know is 250 j i2 and here it is 250 j i1 that is or uh, we can directly write the mesh equations and the mesh equations are uh, and writing from this point and i have end at that exact point 10 i1 plus 500 j i1 minus 250 j i2 equal to 10 and the second loop equation is 400 i2 minus 250 j i1 plus 5000 j i2 equal to 0 this uh, set of equation can be rewritten in matrix form that is 10 plus 500 j minus 250 j again minus 250 j and 400 plus 5000 j into i1 i2 so that on multiplying these two matrices we get the lhs equal to rhs that is 10 and 0 now if the question is to find i2 then we can apply Cramer's rule which uh, gives us i2 equal to determinant uh, as we want i2 we replace the second column 10 plus 500 j and minus 250 j stays as it is and the rhs is replaced here and divided by our original matrix plus 5000 j now the value can be calculated by uh, calculating the value of these determinants and the final value and you will get the value as i2 as equal to 0 0.00102 angle minus 84.13 degrees so quickly moving on to the third step the in that we would be given values of l1 l2 and the constant k let it be 9 henry 4 henry and 0.5 respectively so we can directly apply uh, these values in the equation m equal to k into root l1 l2 and from this we get the value of m as 0.5 into root 9 into 4 that is 36 0.5 into 6 which gives 3 henry that is we get the value of m and we can follow the same procedure and obtain the required parameters other than these three steps sometimes uh, the question may also come without the value of omega and the values as in henry's so uh, the question would be to write the mesh equations 
eigen mesh equations so what we have to do is we have, we have to use the equation that is the voltage induced can be written as m into di by dt where the i is that current which caused the voltage and the voltage across the inductor as you know is l di by dt i is the current flowing through it so uh, we have to first follow the normal procedure of finding out the sign using dot convention that is the currents are i1 and i2 and the current is uh, entrance is a dotted side and like this so the value here is 3 d i2 by dt that is i2 cost this voltage and the value is m that is 3 into d i2 by dt here it is 3 d i1 by dt now we can directly write the mesh equations in loop 1 we can write 10 d i1 by dt that is l which is given as 10 henry here into d i1 by dt the current flowing through it minus as we encounter the minus sign first minus 3 d i2 by dt equal to 10 this is our first equation now in loop 2 we can similarly write i'm starting from here so 400 oh sorry 40 i2 minus 3 d i1 by dt plus 5 d i2 by dt equal to 0 these are our two loop equations so this is all in dot convention if you found this video helpful please like it and subscribe my channel thank you